We can identify certain species of phytoplankton using DNA with a test called polymerase chain reaction. And there's preliminary research that's done to identify certain stretches of DNA that are specific to an individual species of phytoplankton, say heterosigma, for instance. So uh, we use this assay for heterosigma because we can find out if they're in a water sample if they're not concentrated enough to see under a light microscope. The heterosigma tend not to preserve very well. If we take a, a live sample of seawater and concentrate it right there and do our DNA extraction immediately, we'll be able to see if heterosigma are in the water. So the way we do this, the first thing we need to do is collect our samples. We'll take that water and we'll either centrifuge it and collect a pellet of material in the bottom of a tube or a jar, or we'll take a larger volume and we'll filter it on a filter with the pore sizes that are small enough to capture the heterosigma. So once we collect our sample, we will take it to the lab and we'll add a DNA extraction buffer. So that lyses the cells, it breaks them open to free the DNA out of the cells and take that and we run it through a number of different steps in order to isolate the DNA. After that's done, we'll run it on a gel. We'll stain that gel. So when we look at it under blue light, if that piece of DNA that we're looking for, if it was in our sample, it'll light up and it'll be a bright little band then depending on the size of that band, we'll be able to tell if that's heterosigma or not.